Hi everyone, I'm Catholic artist John McCoy. I'm working in Alpena, Michigan on a 10 by 20 foot altarpiece depicting the crucifixion of Jesus for All Saints Parish. In 2016, I created a 60 by 9 foot mural depicting 62 canonized saints of the church, which you see surrounding the crucifixion. This week's time-lapse painting process video documents the covering of the blank white panel, blocking in color and value, and refining Pilate's placard on the cross. In the next video, I will be further refining the painting. Be sure to subscribe to the channel as I'm always creating new content. Thank you guys for watching, enjoy the video, and God bless you. I'm filming this video with the GoPro Hero 4 Silver shooting in time-lapse mode. The camera takes a frame every five seconds of real time and uses 30 frames to create one second of video that you're watching here. This video documents the painting process starting on Monday the 14th through to today, uh, the 18th of May. Before this video, I prime the surface with two coats of gesso, then use a chalk line to snap a one by one foot grid of squares, and then transfer the sketch onto such a large surface to avoid um, large proportion errors and placement errors and so forth. And then what a lot of what basically what I'm doing in this video is covering the surface according to accurate values, colors, and placement of forms from top to bottom. Some of the lines you see in the sketch that are not what, in the areas of the panel that are not covered with paint make sense um, pretty clearly what those indicate, particularly on the cross and on Jesus. Um, but a lot of the squiggly lines that you see that represent clouds uh, actually are pretty tricky to read, uh, but basically they're indicators of large changes in value, like shifts um, from a very light area to a very dark area, and just areas where textures start to appear in the rocks at the bottom of the panel. I will say working at the bottom of the panel on the ground level was a, a break for me and I was able to work um, a little bit more efficiently because uh, when you're working on the higher levels of the platforms of the scaffolding uh, you have to be your some of your awareness is dedicated to making sure your materials aren't falling off of the scaffolding and that you're secure and being safe yourself so working on the bottom is definitely a break because, well, for one, you can um, set up the reference on the music stand and you can be moving around freely and working um, without the concern of the scaffolding. You'll notice that there's a glow beneath the foot of the cross or the feet of Jesus on the cross and that is the placement of where the tabernacle will go when the work is finished. Um, so a lot of honor is given to the real presence of Jesus in the Eucharist and the tabernacle, and the artwork really is centered around that. Working on the lettering of the three languages on Pilate's placard at the top of the cross was definitely a learning experience as far as learning how to place the lettering and get everything to fit it, how I wanted it to look. That basically wraps up this video. Uh, it was a very um, efficient process this week, and I'm really excited about the, how far the painting is, and I'm looking forward to the next video. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, you guys.